Hello, I'm Hoseok Won, Technical Marketing Engineer, part of the Enterprise Networking and Cloud team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure ICE Admin Single Sign-On with Azure AD. This is a new feature that was introduced with ICE 3.1 release, which allows you to authenticate to the ICE Admin Console using SAML 2.0 Identity Provider. At a high level, first we will create a SAML 2.0 external identity source on ICE, apply it to the admin access, then proceed to create matching settings on Azure AD. Export the metadata import into the ICE and set up any group mappings. Okay, let's get started. First, let's go to ICE menu, administration, identity management, external identity sources. Select SAML identity providers and select add and give it a name and select Submit. Now we're going to map this to the admin access. Go to Administration, System, Admin Access. And here instead on the Identity Source, select the one that we just created. And select Save. Okay, now let's go back to the, the Identity Source that we have created. And here now we can see that it's been mapped to the admin access and we can export the service provider configuration. Okay, so there are two things we need to identify here. One is the entity ID and the other one is the location. And we'll use these settings on the Azure AD configuration. Okay, let's go to Azure AD portal page, select the Azure AD. And before we proceed, we need to make sure that there are groups that we can map to. So select groups. Here I have two groups, ICE admins that I'm going to map to super admin on ICE and ICE operators I'm going to map to the help desk admins. Take a note of the object ID that we'll be using for group mappings later on. Okay, so now that we have the groups, we're going to enterprise applications, select new application, Select create your own application and name ICE admin and select create. Okay, now that's been created, let's go to users and groups and map the groups that we have created in the previous steps. Here I have ICE admins and the ICE operators and select both of them and select and assign. Next, under single sign-on settings, select SAML. And here we're going to populate the settings that we have exported out from ICE. So the first one is going to be the entity ID. Copy that, paste it in, and delete the default setting that was already in there and make sure that this is set as default. And next one is the location. Here, we only have one entry, but we're going to create two entries. One with the host name and the other one with the IP address of the instance or the node. Okay, once that's done, select save. Next, we're going to add a group claims. So select add a group claim, select groups assigned to the application, and select the customize the name of the group claim, and enter groups with a capital G, and select save. Okay, go back to sound base single sign on, and scroll down and download the federation metadata XML. Okay, now we're going to go back to ICE. Under the identity provider config, we're going to import the XML file that we have exported out from the Azure AD. Next, we're going to map the groups. So select groups tab. For the attribute, name it groups. And select add. 
first we're going to go back to Azure AD console and go to the groups and here we're going to use the object ID that will be sent as part of the claims so the first one is the ice admins I'm going to map it to the super admin and the next one is going to be the ice operators which will be mapped to the help desk admin and select save okay so that's it so you can go log out and you'll see a new option under login screen which is login with SAML and as you select it you'll be redirected to the Azure AD login page thank you and this concludes how to configure ICE 3.1 with single sign-on